Hi, this is Ashok. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the differences between process and thread in a computer. So everyone knows process and thread exists in a computer, but we will know what exactly process and a thread. So what is a process? Any program which is running in a computer is process. So any program in execution. program in execution is a process so what is a thread thread is just a small part of a process process can create many threads so thread is just a small part of a process so the next difference is process has its own address space. It means it has own data segment for process. It has own address space. So address space is nothing but the range of addresses the process will occupy. So every process is, has its own address space it, its own range of addresses but if you take the thread thread will share suppose if there are two threads of a process the two threads will share the same address space of a process so it shares same address space of a process So we already know this every process has a virtual memory. If you see virtual memory, it will be like this. So every process will have this virtual memory. It has the kernel space, the argument and environment variables, and it has a stack and heap, you know, stack which grows downwards and heap which grows upwards. And it has a global variables and which are uninitialized data, initialized data, and this is the actual code. So every process will have a virtual memory like this. So thread will share the data segments of a process. Suppose if a process has two, two threads, the two threads will share uh, these data segments. So we'll go to the differences. So what do we mean by multitasking in process? So allowing two, two or more pro programs running in a computer is multitask in process computer allows two or more programs concurrently this is called multitasking in a process in a thread it allows two or more threads running concurrently in a same process. So allowing allows two or more threads running concurrently of a process. This is called multitasking in threads. So if you see the communication between processes, it is very difficult to communicate between two processes because every process has a separate virtual memory, separate, uh, separate address space. So it is very, it is expensive to communicate. Expensive to communicate between processes. But in threads, it is very easy to communicate between threads because it shares the uh, same address space of a process. So with using some data, shared data segment, we can easily communicate between threads. It is less expensive. And same as in context switching, suppose if you want to switch between one process to another process, we should save 
every state of a current process in a memory and we should shift to the other process. In thread, it shares the same address space, so it is very easy to context switch between the threads of a same process. And we call process a heavy weight because it has a separate address space. And threads are called lightweight. And process has different components that we have seen in the virtual memory. It has a stack, it has heap, it has global variables, uninitialized, initialized, and it has a text. But if you see the thread, thread almost it shares every address space of a process, but it has some which is local. It is only thread wise. So if you see the register, every thread has its own register and its own stack and program counter and it has own state. So uh, threads has different states like new, running, waiting state, uh, blocked state, thread, uh, dead state. So thread, thread will have in own register, own stack, own program counter and state. All other data segments are shared between uh, shared between threads of a same process. So these are the main differences between a process and a thread. So in future videos, we'll see how to create threads and how to run different threads concurrently in Java. Thank you for watching.